Alright, so we just finished up the battle. Too uh. easy. Tegan. Oh, Tegan. Are you alright? I am... better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Mm -hmm. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Well, I was thinking of slaughtering him just to piss you off, but uh, you knew about this all along. I... yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. Clearly the child is an abomination. There is only one way to stop it. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Hmm. Uh, so you had no idea the man you hired was an assassin. That seems like a brilliant move. None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans? Do you not realize what you've done, Isolde? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. And now you may lose him anyway, and so much more. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. Well, what are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. No? What... what about the mage? He could know something of this demon? If he still lives, we could speak to him. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, he's down in the dungeon. Then we should bring him here immediately. I... I do not know how much we can trust him. But we must find out what he knows. Tegan, could you find him? I... will try. Though if he resists, I will not hesitate to kill him. I'll return shortly. You're lucky to be alive, John. After all you've done. I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isol. But I did poison the Arl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Hmm. Uh, okay, well, um, what difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Hmm. Is there nothing else we can do? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. 
blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Well, that tower's not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the Mage's help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Well, I'm gonna take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay, so there's another thing you can do in here while we're here. You can actually go into that room and of course there's some stuff in this room that you can collect but the interesting thing I've never done it but the interesting thing is apparently the consular that you kill here is the guy that has the key to the weapons vault that's upstairs just up that flight of stairs there otherwise you can't get into the weapons vault although if we just leave now and come back and do the next part of this quest when we bring the mages back we can get into that room very easily whereas if we go in now all these guys come to life and they're actually quite a tough fight so, and I'm, I've had enough fighting at the moment so I think we're just gonna leave and forfeit the weapons vault yes ah, we've got some lyrium there and we need it Actually, not as much as I thought we did. Um, oh, we've got a couple of injured party members here. You can see, and I just didn't heal them. This time through, after the crash, um, these two guys actually died fighting whatever that thing's called out in the courtyard. But I just left them injured, knowing that I'm going to go back to camp at this point. There's really no time limit in this entire game. There's a few plot points, but no real time limits. So rather than rushing off to the Mage's Tower, which is right here, the Circle Tower, um, I'm going to go to camp. I don't understand. You look like a woman. Oh, thank you very much. What's not to understand about that? You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Um, that doesn't make any sense, Sten. So you understand my confusion, then? Um, no, not precisely. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Well, that's not a very comprehensive list. The laborers, soldiers, and Ashkari are men. There is nothing else left. Wow. What if they don't want to be any of those things? What does that have to do with anything? No one gets to choose who they are. What? Of course they do. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. But... A person can choose what to do. Can they? We'll see. And he actually approves of that. Okay, so I'm going to um, sign off the video here, and my next video will probably be chatting up members of the party here and whatnot, and probably doing some inventory and all that mess. So, as always, I thank you for watching, and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. Don't look at me like that, Sten. I always finish my videos this way. 
And if you like my videos, don't forget to give me the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Have a good one, folks. Cheers.